It was a city suburb. It's now a mass grave. Exactly how many people are still trapped under here isn't known. Authorities had guessed a thousand. They now say it's five times that, making the death toll not 1,700, but perhaps as many as 7,000. This is my family. Nita shows me the bodies of six of her family, three children, pulled out today. My sister. This is your sister. And the two of it. Her, her children. Sister. Yeah, her babies. With a recovery crew, we rode deep into the wasteland and found a teenage girl. No one knows who she is. Her whole neighborhood was swallowed by the mud. Sunday prayers from his family for one who was identified in this city of death, a city in deep shock. My mother is uh, traumatic. She's traumatized. Yes. In a field hospital, Rosny stares blankly, injured and homeless. Turn around in she the was, water. She was turned around in the water, the water. By, the, by the tsunami. Yes. But the strangest sight from this whole disaster is right here on Ambeda Street. A passenger ferry with 21 crew that was thrown into this town by the tsunami. Proof of the sheer power of its three waves. All on board survived. 70,000 people are now homeless and dependent on aid. The first plane load of supplies from the US arrived today. They will stop searching for bodies on Thursday. There are just too many buried too deeply in a quagmire that was once home. Bill Neely, NBC News, Palo, Indonesia.